Welcome back to another episode of Selling Aphrodite, where I, Andrew, am selling around the world and taking all of you guys with me. Meet my new boat, my 41-foot golf boat, Lady Aphrodite, which I somehow got in some crazy circumstances. If you want to see me sail this girl around the world, <laughs> hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and let me know what else you guys want to see. Thanks for being here, y'all. Enjoy the video. Welcome to my shit show of a morning. It's now 9 o'clock. I have been up since about 5.30, right when my generator ran out of gas. Thank God it did, because when it did, I heard my seacock leaking, which completely failed. And I now have plugged in there with two corks and a screwdriver and duct tape. So, with that said, we were sinking, and of course my bilge pump failed like yesterday or the day before. So all I had was my hand bilge pump. But, we got all the water out of the boat. The boat's dry again. Now, we're hauling out. I'm getting pulled out of the water in about 10 minutes. Uh, but we'll wait for the guy to call me, and then I'm driving up over there hauling out. And I'm gonna replace all the seacocks. This should be here tomorrow, I already ordered them. Um, Alan, actually the old owner of the boat, sent them to me, or sending them to me. So, yeah. Crappy start to the day. So the story of it goes like this. I had to find some corks this morning, which make sure you always know where your corks are on the boat. I only had one on the boat that I knew of. So I had to call Alan, the old owner, see where he knew where the other ones are. He couldn't remember until he finally remembered, called me back, we got him set up. So I got more corks, but one of the corks didn't fit, so I had to whittle it down with like a knife, whittling it down. There's freaking wood chips everywhere now. Wood chips. Just to fit it into the hole, all while my boat's sinking. Get a boat, they say. Sail around the world, they say. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. My fucking batteries are fucking dead. So I forgot to leave my battery charger on overnight. So now I gotta jump my fucking batteries. Well, y'all, that's not the ocean behind me. Well, it is, but it's over there. I'm on land route, and it's pretty crazy what has happened. Seacock, the front, the front of the seacock fell out. The whole freaking front of it. whole damn thing. You can see one of my plugs is still in there. I popped these two out already, but that's the inside of my boat. And that's not supposed to be like that. You know, boat almost sinks. It's all right. We do a little bit of cleaning. Put some... Do a little bit of cleaning. Put some things away. You know, boat almost sinks. It's all right. We celebrate with Dr. Pepper. French fries. A Reuben. And then a YouTube video. Okay, we are starting the boat maintenance. What do we got to do? Number one, if you look here, a soft spot in my rudder, pretty big one, leaking some water down there. So I'm going to drill some holes in it, top and the bottom and the middle. I'm going to fill it up with some spray foam and then uh, reseal it with epoxy. That'll be that for now. Got new zinc pieces, new zinc, new zinc. <laughs> Taking these old ones off, putting the new one on, and putting the cap on this one right here. There, because these were starting to back out, as you can see. So let's pull those out, refit those. Um, then I gotta prepare the main.
main hole. I gotta get this, the old 4200 stuff out of that hole. And then I gotta fill those two spots. So let's get after it. Pilot holes up in here, here, here. We have one down there so you can see it is wet. It is moist in there for sure. Do another couple holes and then we'll fill them all up with foam and stuff. The boat place, we have the files. Take the old 4200 up out of these holes. So we're going to file and use this damn cheese grater thing. Get them holes clean before we fill them. cleaned up and we're ready to be filled. Got it in a little plastic bag. Squeezed all the way up to the end like a little, little ice cream machine. This one's looking good. This one, not so much. I gotta pack some in there, so I've been shaving it, filing it, so I can stick some more in there so it sticks to it. Scratch the boat too, but it is what it is. Now, we've got our seacock on the outside with the flange on the inside so I can mark these holes. Um, these new holes that I'm putting in. So I'm gonna mark it, mark it, and then drill it. This right here is every boat owner's favorite activity. That's one. That's two. Got these holes drilled, pushed out. Now I gotta cover it up with tape, fill it back up with epoxy, and re drill it again in eight hours. Then we can put everything back together. Okay, we're finally making the mess. We got stuff going. 5200 on the bolts, pushed through the holes. 5200 going down over here. People are like, you know, it's just 42. I'm like, no. I don't ever plan on taking this up again. All right, we got through hole bolts in. Time to put the main. Ah, oh, shit. Locked and loaded. And that is what we're working with. I'm gonna come back about an hour or two, bed these down all the way, and give that one or two more cranks. That's it. Ready to go back in the way. Okay, y'all, that was that video. Spectacular, I know, right? Getting used to these refit videos. It's like I'm a professional mechanic. Learn anything on YouTube, mechanic. Come on, man. That's what I'm talking about. The education of the two. Uh, besides that, Thank God for this piece. Thank God for this piece. Save the boat. Save the day. I now have 
one of these at every Seacock. I've opened and closed every Seacock to make sure they're all functioning, replaced that one. The boat's back together, we're back together, going back on the water in a day or two. Next video will be on my way home through New York City. Thanks for sticking around. Like, comment, subscribe, join that Patreon. Selling Aphrodite out.